Hello everyone, you're welcome to my YouTube channel, Stroller for me. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel and if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, can you click on the subscribe button. And today we'll be looking at 10 tips to work from home effectively. 10 tips to work from home effectively. If we look around, more people are now working from home because of COVID-19 pandemic, not disposing the fact that Many people have been working from home before um, COVID-19 came, but now there has been a, a, in fact, there has been like an increase, an increase to normal people that work from home and um, remotely too. Working from home means you're working remotely. So we'll be looking at 10 tips to help you, to guide you, because, you know, it's like a switch for lots of people to work from home. And um, many, many people are finding it difficult to adjust to um, the life of having to work from home. So the first one is maintain regular hours and stick to it. Maintain regular work hours and stick to it. You are going to be working from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Maintain that work hours and stick to it. So anything you want to do within the time, you know this is your work time. So the second one is create a morning routine. Create a morning routine. When you create a morning routine, it has to do with things you do before the start of work. Probably you go jogging in the morning. Probably you cook your meals. Probably things that you do effectively, things you do in the morning. Just create a morning routine for yourself. Then the third one is set, set ground rules with the people in your space. You know, you're not working from home. There are lots of people that might be in the house with you at the time you were, you're working. Probably your friends, your families, your, even your child or your spouse. Set ground rules with them. Set ground rules. Let them understand that you are at work at that particular time. So set your rules. Set your rules. The fourth tip is schedule breaks. Schedule breaks. Don't just start your work, let's say, from 9 and then just work at a stretch. You'll get burnt out. You'll get tired or bored. Schedule breaks and go on breaks. Probably 30 minutes after working for 4 hours or... One hour after working for five hours, just schedule the breaks that you feel it's, um, it's flexible for you to work with. The fifth one is leave home. Always enjoy leaving home. And that has to do with during your break period. You know, her body needs movement and blood circulation. You can't just sit and work at a stretch for long hours of time and then, you know, you are immobile for long hours. It will affect your blood circulation. It will affect your muscle. It could affect your um. It, it could affect your mobility. It could affect you psychologically and all. So always enjoy living home. Take take a, take a walk out. Step out. Step out and you know, enjoy nature and um, walk around the house too. The sixth tip is keep a dedicated office space. Keep a dedicated office space. I understand the fact that not everybody would end, would have the luxury of probably having a space to themselves, having a room to themselves to call an office space. But in as much as it's just a corner in your house, just a corner in your compound, have that dedicated office space and ensure you always keep it tidy. Keep it tidy. When your office space is tidy, you know, it gives you this psychological feeling of um in an uh, arranged an arranged and organized life so keep a dedicated office space and keep it tidy the seventh tip is socialize with colleagues socialize with colleagues you know when i say colleagues here it means people that are in the same field as you are you can just chat them up and you know call them have a chat with them and uh, about probably the challenges you are having with the work you're doing and ensure you do all this within your scheduled break time another thing is look for training and learning opportunities you could take courses online probably on udemy you have the google there you have the coursera you have a listen you have so many sites where you can train and learn opportunities that would help um your 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 field you might not have the luxury of going outside you know if it's like in a work setting you might organize trainings and all physical trainings and all but here you are you are your own boss so to say so 
Look for training opportunities online and learn. Thanks for the invention of internet where you have wealth of knowledge. So another thing, and the ninth tip is be positive. Be positive. Speak positivity to yourself. Don't just dwell on where you are presently. Look at where you are aiming to, where you are going to. The last but not the least tip is end your day with a routine. End your day with a routine. Synonymous with the second um, tip, which is create a morning routine. Also, learn to end your day with a routine. Have something that you do at the end of your work time. Probably listing out things that you're able to achieve for the day or giving yourself a part or just maybe appreciating yourself or do something to end your day. End your day with a routine. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more tips.